This was the life of Daniel. For the Bible says when Daniel prayed, God just hold on. God released the answers to his prayer. But for 21 days, the answers were not coming. So he had to maintain his relationship with God. He did not lose hope because the answers were not being released. No. And as you all know, there are ranks in the spiritual realm. The angel who was coming to bring the report to the prayers of Daniel was captured in the heaven lies and stopped to bring the answers to Daniel. But Daniel still maintained the relationship. Can I say this? He ain't just God because he can answer my prayer. He is God because I can maintain my relationship with him even when he delays to answer or even when he does not answer the way I expect him to answer. I feel like preaching this thing. Praise the name of God. Someone say he is still my God. So for 21 days, Daniel is in prayer. There is somebody in this room, even after you prayed for it, it never showed up. But you never lost your relationship with your maker. Your relationship is still intact. Hallelujah. That's why when you walk in, you don't need a programmer to lay you the program. You can just walk in and do hallelujah, hallelujah. You can just walk in. You can just walk in. You can just walk in. I want you to tap your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. I have a relationship with him because I am not blind for the Bible says in whom the God of this world has blinded there is a God of this world who will always try to blind you the God of this world will try to use the situations around you trying to make you blind not to know where you are coming from and whom you belong to because I believe we all belong to God that's why we come to worship him that's why we pray him the truth is there are people here you don't have a gun in your house but you are so secure because you know who is watching over your life Am I preaching now? Am I preaching now? The same road that killed other people is the same road God made you to survive. Not because you are too smart, but because God calls you the light. So if I be the light, you better be careful, devil. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is where I am. That is where I am. Uh, who in the image of God should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves. Now this is what I want to say to you. Paul says, we preach not ourselves, but we preach of Jesus Christ, who died and rose again from the dead. But we have the treasure. I don't need to keep you here for so long. I know it's already coming. Someone say, this person you are looking unto. Tell your neighbor, this is just body. They tell them, the inu don't go to. Tell them, inu matope to. But the real person is in the inside. Some will say in this earthen treasure, in this earthen, earthen vessel, there is a treasure inside that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We are 
troubled on every side. I'm coming now. We are troubled. The enemy knows there is nothing he can do you. That's why he brings fear around you. Praise the name of God. And even in that fear, God says, I've not given you the spirit of fear. Ah, Janda Katalaba. And he says, Resist the devil. And he shall flee away. Can I say this? What are some of you are feeling in this place? You are just walking through the lies of the devil. There is nothing wrong with your life. It's just the fakeness of the devil. For the devil is fickle in all ways. But through the systems and the maxims of this world, God is making sure he brings you out as the light. Ah, feel this thing now. He says, yet not distressed. He says, we are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. I feel like preaching right now. Also bearing about in the body. The dying of the Lord Jesus. That the life also of Jesus might, might be made manifested in our lives. He had a dream. The Bible does not say that Joseph was a bad guy. Nah, but the Bible says that he had favor out of the court of many colors that made him to be buried. Someone say there is nothing wrong of going through the pit. So from the pit he's sold like a slave. He is now in the prison. He interprets the dreams of two guys and he hopes when they get out they are going to remember him tell your neighbor nobody is going to remember you but in that earthen vessel there is a treasure it's coming now give your neighbor high five for the first time and hold on to that neighbor neighbor inside this earthen vessel there is a treasure Something that will make them to call you. Something that will make them to look for you. Before we get there, he interprets the dreams. And they get out. For two good years, nobody remembers Joseph. I don't know how many years they have forgotten about you. But as I preach this message, they are going to remember you. For inside this open vessel, there is a treasure. I feel this thing coming right now. Someone say inside this earthen vessel, there is a treasure. So Paul says now, as we go out there, we are not going to preach ourselves. We are not going to preach over what we have. We are not going to preach over our lifestyles. But we got to preach Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. It was God. God who made Joseph to be located again in that prison because there was a treasure in the earthly vessel. I feel like preaching to you right now. Do you know why you are attacked? Do you know why you are depressed? Do you know why they are coming after you? Do you know why they gossip with your name? Do you know why they fight you? They fight you because inside that open vessel there is a treasure. Give your neighbor high five again. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, my hairstyle should not fool you. My dressing code should not fool you. Tell your neighbor what I ate yesterday should not fool you. Ah, come on, boys, let's finish this thing. It should not fool you. It should not fool you. 
tell your neighbor what I have and what I don't have right now should not fool you. Having the empty seats in the church should not fool you that I'm not powerful. Someone say should not fool you. Give your neighbor high five for the third time and tell your neighbor, neighbor, the enemy will keep on sending the bad news on your way so that you can be depressed. The enemy will keep on sending the bad news your way so that you can be disappointed. But I come here as a man of God to hold on to you. Though you are cast down, but you are not destroyed. The enemy should wait and see how you get out. Even though I'm cast down, I'm cast down. This is my position right now. I am depressed. I am stressed. This is my position right now. I know I'm no longer important to you. This is my position right now. I know I don't have it. This is my position right now. But the word of God says, even though I'm cast down, I am not destroyed. This is where the Bible says, for no weapon, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Can I pick the way I feel it? Whatever you are going through is there to make you qualify for the next thing that the Lord want to do in your life. I don't know what I'm preaching to. Give somebody a high five. Shout out your neighbor, neighbor. Even though I'm cast 